The summer party is our annual gala, and it's really the gala that generates the most excitement and resource for us to be able to welcome one and a half million visitors a year for free thinking and free art. At the Google Arts and Culture Lab, we bring artists and tech communities together, and this was a great opportunity for us to bring together Ez Devlin with creative technologist Ross Goodwin, who is a collaborator of Google Arts and Culture. I went in for a meeting at the Serpentine Gallery I just said, well, what is this party? What could it be? What is it? Hans Ulrich replied, you could call it a social sculpture. We thought it would be wonderful to celebrate words and poetry, but also think about what could happen collectively, so that everybody who comes to the party contributes, and at the end, we have a kind of a collective word. Hans Ulrich and Jana Peel introduced me to Google Arts and Culture Lab, who were able to take some of these ideas forward with me. Ez had conceived the idea for poem portraits, but she had a question in terms of how could we automatically generate a poem which evolved throughout the evening, and she was interested in exploring machine learning as part of this. Actually, I was shocked that when I asked the question, how will we make this machine, the immediate answer, well, we, we know a man who's making one right now. Six million words is actually not as much data as you might expect. Do you think we should double it? <laughs> this, this the Machine Learning Summit in Paris brought together artists and engineers and I think it's very important. Poets are still thinking a lot about methods to do poems and I think here with this technology uh, in this collaboration between you know, the Serpentine and S. Devlin and Google it is possible to do this uh, collective poem. What I'm hoping we will be left with this evening is a trace of words that people gave and a trace of what this machine did with them. I gave you a word, you turned my word into a poem, you flashed that poem on my face, then you turned those digital pieces of information into printed matter and you gave me a piece of printed paper. Usually a thought like this might not immediately come to fruition. What I need from technologies is ways to achieve it and ways to take it further. This is very fast, which is also how I work. Art and technology have an intrinsic relationship and it's exciting to explore new ways in which artists are working with machine learning. I think we need experiments in art and technology. We need to build bridges and in a way also go beyond the fear of pooling knowledge.